Look at this. Do you not love this? All these little boxes. This reminds me of the things we had on those jade. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa. Mont Blanc. Look right there. See that right there? Okay, we got that. That's interesting. I think they're probably BB guns, but I don't know. Okay, there's one other thing down here, which is right next to that box. Dusty. All right, locker nuts. You ready for another day of digging? This is the 10 feet wide, 20 feet deep locker that we bought for 50 bucks. But let's not forget, why did I get this for 50 bucks? Well, because on this day at the auction, no one showed up. It was just me and Jana. I called this one the auction no show. That rarely happens. It's only happened a few times to me ever, ever. And I think it's because on this particular auctioneer's route, there's only, I think, one stop. And at this stop, there's only one unit. And this time, it wound up being a gem. But I think most guys said, yeah, I'm not going to go all the way out there for it. It's not worth it. Well, this wasn't very far for us. It's very close to our house, just a couple cities over. And it was definitely worth it, 50 bucks. All right, we're finding great stuff. I've actually been really surprised by how good is stuff in this one. But I don't need to tell you. Let's just start digging. I'm sure we're going to find some more. All right, let's start this video up with a small box. Oh, man, you guys, this is looking good. This is the kind of boxes I've been liking right here. You'll see why in a sec. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. This locker is the type you got to be careful because you can't go too quick. They'll be a, could throw out some Mont Blancs or something. It's Eddie Bauer case. Look at this. Do you not love this? All these little boxes. That one's empty. Okay. So maybe don't love that one too much. Nice box. But, uh, wait a second. Empty. Please don't be all empty. Come on. We did find a whole bunch of jewelry before. Maybe this is the boxes for the jewelry. Or maybe this is boxes for more jewelry that we have yet to find. This is, a, I think, to find your ring size. So you slip these on your finger. And uh, seven and a half. Yeah, that's what that is. That's actually kind of neat. Let me put that aside. Dang. Oh, okay. Now we got something. What's this? This looks... Uh, Got some potential right here, you guys. This is gold. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I love being wrong though. Cubic zirconian rich 14k gold electro plate. Well, that's what that says. I don't know if that's what that is, but I'm assuming it probably is. Still is going to be pretty to wear, but a fraction of the value. Okay. Nope. Nice paperweight there. A little jewelry box. Why is this one such a disappointment? What is that? It's got all these London, Paris, Cairo, Ma Cairo, Moscow, Bangkok, Hong Kong. It's got like probably different time zones. It's got an alarm. It's like a travel or something or other. It's interesting. That's kind of cool. This might be silver. I don't see the... I don't see it, but I got to get my loop out. But it, it does look like it might be tarnishing. And if that's the case, it might be silver. Okay, well, look at this. Okay, we do have some more jewelry, though. Okay. <laughs> nope. Black Hills Jewelry. We've had that before and that's good stuff. Decent stuff. Okay. 
Okay, that's pretty. Alright, a couple pins. Nothing too, too exciting. Oh, this is nice though. Look at that. Necklace, some beaded necklace. Maybe a bracelet. It's good. Another little watch to add to our watch lot that we do in our auctions. Okay, there's something in here. Hmm. Squeeze me and I will give you a kiss. Oh, and you put like a Hershey kiss in there probably. Empty. All right, well, there wasn't too much in here to be excited about, but there was a couple things. For one, a broken wood hanger. That's too bad. But this right here, L.L. Bean, men's medium. Oh, come on. Okay, that's good. L.L. Bean's good, I believe. I don't have, like, a whole lot of experience selling clothes. It's not my favorite thing, really. I know there's money to be made. I have sold it. I've made money. But uh, not what I care to deal with. If I could choose, there's a polo. Uh, it's decent. It's got cat hair all over it, but some people don't mind that. Raiders, Western Divisional Champions. Habanera. That's kind of nice. It's a little discolored. I see some yellowing. But uh, not bad. Polyester. And some slacks it hair yellows okay all right just pulled this out and that, that's not too impressive to me almost like a comic book or cartoony and it is signed it appears i don't know it's got this on the back right here artistic impressions oil certified it's got a number eight by ten i don't know does that mean anything hargrove hargrove i'll have to look that up but I don't think it's anything, but I don't know. I sure would like to find a nice piece of art. Okay, check this out. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we got some hair pieces here. That's interesting. Okay. A ton of lipstick. A lot of Clinique. Okay. These are doubles. Boy, there's a lot of lipstick in here. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Oops, some Barbie stuff. You see the side right here. It says bird glasses, bird glasses, bird glasses. Bird glasses, I'm pretty sure there's bird glasses. And if we're not sure, it says right there, bird glasses. Unfortunately, when I first read it, I thought it said bird cages. I wouldn't be so bad. Bird cages. Well, they tend to sell. Huh, look at that. West. Hmm. That is interesting. Look at this right here. West Virginia glass. Handmade. Weston, West Virginia. Blue Jay. It's actually a really nice... Look at the picture. It's, it doesn't connect right there. It's like... That really is like handmade. It feels really nice too in the hand. It's well weighted. Let me just pull some stuff out for you guys. Okay. Alright, those are glasses with birds on them. We have a pitcher, six glasses. That's what's in this box. Looks like they got gold rim on the top there. That's cool. Another box. This one says cosmetics. We found some good cosmetics. I think we're going to do really well at the flea market with cosmetics, but a lot of the boxes are mismarked. So here we have Total Vision boot organizer. Oh, it is in there. How funny. I'm going to say it's empty because it's super duper light. Easy to store, four dollars. We got a whole bunch of cosmetics here. Yeah. Some Clinique in here. See what I mean? A lot of garbage. Garbage. But <laughs> this is the part we like. Uh, no, this is just uh, manicure stuff, like for doing your nails. Gotta be careful because in the uh, yesterday, in one of the earlier episodes, we showed me going through what appeared to be a bathroom junk box. 
a lot of junk in there. And I found a bag of change. And there's a few dollars in there. It's good stuff. But not this time. I do see a little ring here. Man. See a little ring. It might be silver. See that? I don't know. It might not be silver, but put that aside. All right, check this thing out. Has a monster-sized rocking chair, and it seems to be pretty nice. It's not super heavy, um, and this is just a big stuffed animal. We'll, we'll sell that, of course. But uh, yeah, it's got—I mean, it's got a little. Is that a gouger? Yeah, I thought it was a crack. It might be a crack, but it is—it's uh, very large. Seems to have a good motion on it too, and good balance. I say that's probably going to sell for I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. That's good. All right, guys, I haven't been filming the boxes. They haven't been really that good. Uh, and I'm running out of time. I gotta get this load done. I gotta get this unit clean. Let me just update you where I'm at. And uh, yeah, I'm, I got some interesting things here. All right, I got this baker's rack out. I got a lot of stuff out. Um, and you can see, I'm, I'm kind of carving a path down the middle. Maybe I'm going a little bit that way. I'm zigzagging it a little bit, but um, the, yeah, look, I got some Raider at uh, displays here. That's, that's a first. So we've got um, a lot of boxes, like look in here, okay? And uh, I thought maybe in the back was gonna be all furniture. No, the furniture's just up on top. Unfortunately, these chairs are not very good. I was hoping for some good sellable chairs. They are stained, they're cheap, and they're not in the greatest condition. But anyhow, um, look, look right there. See that right there? Okay, we got that. That's interesting. I think they're probably BB guns, but I don't know. All right, they're both sitting right there. And then check this out. This box has like way more spider webs than any of the others. And it's a long box that looks like a rifle box. And right here is from Kmart Sports Department. This looks good, you guys. It's got twine on it. I don't think that's been opened in a long time. We're gonna take a look at that and that in just a second. Uh, but I've got someone right across the way here. So I don't want to make a big deal about the guns, just because you don't know how people are going to react to that. So uh, <laughs> we'll look at it in a second. In the meantime, I'm going to keep going through these boxes right here and uh, see what I can find. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, but I just haven't found anything really, really interesting in a while. Nothing for our auctions, nothing to start the camera over, but that could change any minute. Oh, look at this. I just got a couple crates of uh, VHSs out of here. Those go in the dump. Uh, yeah, so, but look what's underneath it. Albums. Good, good, good. Let me get this box off before we take a peek. But also, look at that wicker trunk right there. You know, we love finding trunks. All right, I'm digging this out. I'm trying to get to these records. Look at this. Records. Vinyls. And then, look at that. Records, vinyls. Yeah. All right. Please be some rock. Johnny Mathis. Hmm. Well, oh, Phoebe Snow, I don't know what that is. All right, we're hoping for some 70s hard rock Supremes. Eh, that might work too, but that's a good amount of vinyls. That's good. All right, I found a whole box of, well, they're VHS tapes. I thought they're all Disney, but I see some non-Disney down there. We got a lot of Disney though. Bambi. All right, maybe they're not all, but uh, here we got Little Mermaid Return to the Scene, Snow White, Lion King, Alice, and then look at this, Little Mermaid, but this is not the one that was uh, recalled or whatever, changed the artwork, it's not that one, so uh, it's not really worth, none of these are really worth anything, but still a nice set. If you're going to find them, you might as well find Disney, either that or Horror, I believe. Those are the two that sell. All right, guys. All right, guys. Back to it. So I had somebody right across the way here um, accessing his unit. I didn't really want to be filming too much. Lids. It was a dirty hat, but it's kind of nice. They weren't so dirty. I put it on for you. <laughs> yeah, that one's actually nice. Yosemite Adventure Company. And that's Boat Climber Rock. Huh. not too bad it keeps the sun out of my face 
So what else we got here? Looks like a whole box of hats. St. Mary's College, Raiders. Oh, maybe not. We got some pants here too. Okay. Chaps by Ralph Lauren. That's good. Denim Riders. I don't know what that is. But that's what we like to see right here. Levi's. Good coloring too. So, it's 10 bucks at the vintage market right there. Even if they're not vintage, we'll get a little more money for them. Wrangler. That's good. Uh, Nautica. That's a good brand. Knives, baking stuff, cookie cutters, kitchen storage. Pamper Chef. Okay. Perfect cook. <laughs> As seen on TV. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Here's some little cookie forms or candy. Actually, I think this is for making candy. Yeah, candy dipping. All right. Um, there's a sifter. It's good. It's all good stuff. Look at this. Oh, these are cool. Look at that. Congratulations. I figured that's probably for like a, a cake or something. You stencil. Okay, this stuff. All right, I'm just showing you to get this stuff out of the way. It's all baking stuff. It's, it's good stuff, right? Good, good, good. But this, this, this is, this is heavy. What is this? Okay. This reminds me of the things we had on this jade at our auction. If you guys watched our auction, we auctioned off the jade. They had the same kind of clasps right here. A little piece of wood. Okay. All right. Got some, like, cheese knives. Huh. With a stone handle. That's interesting. They've been used, I think, because there's they are a little scratched and scuffed. I see signs of wear. But it's a nice set. But that's not it, is it? Because we have this too. Okay. What is this? It's cork in there. So is that for this? Yeah, it is. If you push that on the wine bottle, that's to pour it out right there. I think it aerates it as it comes out. I think that's the purpose of the little little tube in there. Um, and then it looks like you put that on there to keep it sealed. Another one right here, same one, same type. And then we have a corkscrew and we have a bottle opener. This appears to be like an antler or something, unless it's fake. Could also be plastic, but it's a pretty fancy little box. Okay, and then we have a wood box right here. Look at that. I love little boxes. We find so many boxes in this locker. Huh. Okay. Fashion Manor, it says. And it's a nice knife set. These are pretty cool, actually. They're not too sharp. They need to be sharpened. Uh, Yeah, look at that. It is definitely a nice display. Fashion Manor, okay. These are cool. Put those aside. What's this right here? Lamson Sharp, made in USA, high carbon, no stain. It's a nice set. I don't know if that's worth any money, but we'll look it up. We will look it up. Okay, here's another antler set. We got a knife. And a fork. What is this? Oh, this is made in Germany. Wait a second. Can you see that? Rost free? R O S T F R E I. Rost free, Germany. Okay, the, the reason why that. It looks like maybe there's a missing piece right here, too. Oh, this is different. Anton Wingen. Also Germany. Oh, no, this is Rost free right there. Okay, I think I I think I've had one of these before. Maybe still on my eBay store. I don't know, but I had a piece of uh, a knife or no, I think it was a fork, serving spoon. I don't know, that had this antler on it, and it's from Germany. And it was some big money. And you know what it was? Is poultry shears. I had poultry shears with the same thing. I think it might be the same company. Huh? Those are worth some. If that's right, those are worth some money. That's a good find. All right, next box here. Boy, the wind's picking up again. I tell you. 
the wind in this part is wicked. So we got some, I don't know, cards, lace, buttons. At this point, let's just go into the market. I don't even want to spend too much time on it because this looks interesting. I just don't have very much more time. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa. Mont Blanc. Okay. Oh, dang, guys, look at this. A bag of little boxes in here, including a Mont Blanc. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just about to say, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on this stuff because it's just not that interesting. It's got to go to the flea market, but I got to go through all this stuff. You never know what's going to be in there. Okay, like this, for example. Could have jewelry in there, right? Not that one. This is a little dollhouse stuff. I think, I don't know. You see this stuff? Okay, but we'll just keep that together, this box dollhouse stuff that's good it actually does sell if you want to take the time to list it it really does sell this is Oscar de la Rent perfumes it's empty then it's empty too it's empty this what the heck it's every, every it's all empty well, not all. Let's see. It's empty. There's some weight here, though. Oscar de la Rent. Renta. Mm. Alright, well, you know what? I think that's empty, too. Body cream. Yeah, you can see it's empty in there. That's too bad. This is kind of hoarders right here, right? This is like a hoarder. They're hoarding jewelry bottles. They're all empty. Oscar de la Rent through a lot of stuff let's get to the business here all right Mont Blanc guys this could be big money yeah, this one's empty okay this one's empty but that's all right we'll put that aside because <laughs> this one's a little heavier this guy's bought a lot of Mont Blanc this one is, okay, well, it's heavier, but this is just like the other ones we found, isn't it? It's empty. I could just tell. Mm. I've never found any Mont Blancs in any locker ever. I've got a Mont Blanc that my dad gave me. It's quite expensive. I don't even use it because I'm scared to. It's too expensive. I'm scared I'm going to use it, uh, lose it. Ring Collector's Mini Chest. I just got to pull it out and look at it. Not like I really care about a little Avon jewelry box, but I have found things like this with the bubble wrap on, opened it, and there's jewelry inside. Not this time, but it has happened. You do have to look. The Art of Writing, Mont Blanc. Look at that. Disneyland. Vintage Disneyland. Oh my goodness, look at this. See that? Little tiny forks from Disneyland. Oh, that's so cool. Two dollars. Stealth bomber belt buckle. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, it's from Nordstrom. Because this is heavy. And I'm hoping it's a brass belt buckle. It's heavy. This wind is getting ridiculous. It's not brass. But this is good. Look at this. Limited edition 321. Northrop, Northrop Corp, 1991. It's pretty awesome. This might be worth some money right here. Meow at the moon. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty funny. It's a little, maybe a little jewelry holder or something. Boy, that wind's picking up, guys. Oh, it's got a little lid to it, too. You know what? I'm not taking it out because I'm starting to lose this stuff. It's starting to blow. That sucks. Okay, we got some jewelry in here. A couple little earrings. It looks like silver, too. See the tarnishing on it? Okay, we'll take that home and look at it closer. Oh, much more jewelry. It's good. 
Okay, next box. Uh, Alright, brand new Raiders shirt. I mean, like, brand new. Look at that. Tags, everything. Double XL. Yeah, short sleeve, too. Alright, guys. I mm, got a new shirt. Shirt shirts are getting kind of stale, anyways. Let's see the, uh... That was kind of a random thing to be in here, though, huh? A shirt in an envelope. In this with binders. Paper. I just hoarded stinking binders. Here's another one that says kitchen stuff. Let's see. All right, these are like these organizer container uh, bags for putting dishware in, flatware. Not flatware, but dishware. Oh, this is good. Look at this, Onita. And um, it's a full set, 45 piece set. We had a couple sets of these, they're newer. This one's a little bit older, you can just tell the style, but it actually looks like it's almost tarnishing a little bit but uh they, they've got some money to them Jana listed them locally and sold them pretty pretty good money okay oh look at this a more like gold plated knife set gold electro plate five piece stainless steel serving set what does that look like hmm. alright that was cool. See that? Hampton Silversmiths 18 slash 10 stainless china. Alright guys, I dug in here pretty good. I was waiting for the neighbor across the way there to uh, clear out before I dug in here because I didn't want to be, you know, talking too much about guns. I didn't want them to see it. I don't know how people think. People, you know, they get kind of funny about stuff. Right. Well, I can already hear the comments. You put your finger on the trigger. Uh, okay, what is this? I'm trying to figure out. So guys, I don't know guns all that well. Um, I'm trying to figure out, is this a BB gun or a rifle like a 22 or something? I think it's a 22. Stevens. Model 75. Savage Arms. Long rifle. 22 short. Is this 22 short? L-O-N. No. 22 short long. Or long rifle. So. There's not. There's no ammo in there. Okay. You can see right in there. There's no ammo. It is clear. There's the number right there. The serial number. It's got some rust on it. I hope it's getting in the camera. I can't tell. It's got some rust on it. I think it's going to clean up really nice. So that's a 22 rifle. That's good. It's not big money, right? That's not even 100 bucks, I don't think. But <laughs> I love finding guns, guys. I love finding them. I haven't really found that many in all my years. But here we go. 22 rifle. Boom. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I just, put the, I just put the rifle in my trunk. You know, my, it's the nice thing about the Honda trucks. They got the little trunk in the back. It's one of my favorite features of that truck, and I love the truck. Uh, I just put it in there. No sooner did I put it in there and close it, I turned around. One of the employees is walking right by. He just turned the corner right after I closed the trunk. He didn't see it. You gotta be careful though, because they get funny about this stuff. I'm telling you, we're in California. People are weird. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, this one is not complete. I already know. Immediately, it's missing the back right here. Whatever piece goes there and it's missing the bolts right here look in there right there i see like a piece of metal like i don't think it's supposed to be there it's sharp sticking out there so maybe it broke off maybe actually maybe something exploded in there a bullet or something the wood's nice it's pretty savage arms another one springfield model 15 okay this is another 22 i'm almost positive uh but it is a wall hanger at this point it's not going to be usable that's the kind of a chintzy little trigger though but um all right that's cool whatever still found a gun all right lighting's not great in here but at least we don't have the wind noise because that's really annoying okay hmm. i don't think this is gonna be hey let me show you in there let me show you what i'm looking at okay i want to get to this one now 
this guy. Um, you know, looking in there. Uh, yeah, see it. What is that? Golf clubs? What is that? More focus. This is about as good as it gets right here. I mean, really, this guy, this locker, the guy probably passed away. That's what they're telling me at the office. The more I go through it, the more I'm just get that feeling. I'm getting that feeling, you know, like stuff was too good. He would have come back. He would have called. He would have tried. Northwestern. I don't know what that is. Is that a gun? I don't know. Um, but I just get the feeling this guy, he's gone. Did not come back for this stuff. I think his wife already passed. And I don't know if there's kids. Um, I haven't really been looking at the personal photos. There's tons of photos. Ah, I was really hoping for a gun. So what do we have? Hey, this might be something. Okay, so the, what's that? Pro, oh, it's really cobwebby. Pro built. You got some irons here. They actually, oh, they're, okay, Northwestern is that so it does say sports department and uh technically it was right it is the sports department just not the firearms department guns are also bought at kmart uh sports department back in the day not anymore but um yeah all right we found two we still fight might find more who knows anything can happen there's a lot to go through still okay there's one other thing down here which is right next to that box. <laughs> I thought it was a gun. I got excited. I didn't even look at this. And this might even be better. It says Erector. Right? Erector right here. This could be... I'm hoping this is an Erector set. Oh, it is. Okay, guys. So, the reason why I'm interested in this is because we found that vintage Erector set manual. And I know... I've already had some interest in that piece. Just the booklet, the instruction booklet, the manual. And I looked it up and I'm like, okay. And uh, there's some value in just the instruction booklet. But these old sets, these erector sets, these can be, there can be some real value in this stuff. Look at this. Little tower, like for the crane. I think this is like, this is like a motor and it really operates the crane, like for reals pieces there's a whole bunch of pieces there that's not good wasn't expecting that to happen okay here's another part to the tower i guess i don't know so what do we got here look at this guys okay so this is like this obviously is not an original box but it seems to be doing a pretty good job of holding all the pieces so, I don't know if that's going to be all the pieces, but just the fact that we have an Erector set, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome. I was hoping to find this somewhere. All right, exciting episode. We found guns. That does not happen that often. It really doesn't, and I love it when it does. These ones, not, not, not nearly near the top of my uh, list for nicest guns, right? These are, they're just 22 rifles. One of them's wrecked. But it's still a thrill for me. I hope for you too. All right. But really, the amazing thing is possibly that Erector set has more value than both those guns put together. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go home and look it up. But I have a feeling that could be. That could have more value. Isn't that incredible? So um, good find. I was really hoping to find it. And we had a lot of good finds in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. All right, we just passed 40,000 subs. I think we're actually at 41 now. It's happening much quicker all of a sudden. We really appreciate everyone who's part of it already. If you're a locker nut, we really, really appreciate that. Uh, but if you're new, subscribe. And if you haven't hit the notification bell, make sure you do that because that's gonna notify you not only when we put out a new video, but also when we do something spontaneous, like do a live from the flea market or launch an auction last minute. Like, hey, we got a lot of stuff. Let's do a pop-up auction tonight. You know, um, hit the notification bell. You'll be alerted when we do. And don't forget, every Monday night, we're live, okay? 6 p.m. Pacific. We have a live show immediately followed by a live auction where you can buy some of the great stuff you see in these videos, all right? But you got to be quick because we find them. I'm going to auction them off like right away. We don't want stuff sitting around. We auction it right away. So make sure you make those auctions. You don't want to miss it. It's a lot of fun. 
thanks. We'll have the next video out shortly. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Oh, yeah. The next episode, we're going to get these three boxes of records out. Take a closer look. I'm so excited about that. We just love finding records. So make sure you watch the next episode. Um, almost got it unburied, but psh, got a lot more to go. A lot more. A lot, a lot, a lot more.